Welcome back to Break My Wallet or BMW. It's very windy. I'm not sure if you can hear it on the camera. You probably can. Okay, I'm going to talk about um, just a few modifications you can do on the Jeep for your E60. So I'm not going to babble on too long. Um, there's various things you can do for little money. Um, so the first thing that I'm going to talk about is the number plate and the number plate surround as well as the number plate lights. Um, $7.99 for the pair for the number plate surrounds and about $19.99 for a pair of 4D number plates. Um, the LED lights, much better than standard. Again, £12 a pair. And also another addition that you might not have seen is the key cover, which I got from um, AliExpress for a couple of quid. Lovely little uh, cheap budget mod you can do. Um, also, there's one for the uh, driver's door as well. I don't think there's any more keyholes anywhere else. No, there isn't. So it's just that one as well. Again, a couple of quid. Um, interior wise you can also put in a new start button cover uh, mine was very worn so I replaced it again Aliexpress about 2 dollars I think it's a nice little mod very budgety but well worth it at the front I have upgraded the grills to the vented type can clearly see ABS plastic um, about 19.99 I think there were a pair well worth it and same with the as I said with, with the number plates so um, there's another few things you could possibly do perhaps you can paint your calipers I mean how much is a tin of uh, hammer right about 7.99 5.99 it's a nice little uh, upgrade just uh, tidies it up a bit and makes it all look nice and sporty I'll just give you a quick overview of the car the story behind this car was a bit of a bargain actually I got £2,000 for this which is a good deal if you ask me 55D um, remapped EGR delete DPF delete so very happy with this purchase I mean, the styling of the E60 really holds really well, I think. Um, when I'm driving in this, I get lots of locks, lots of attention. So, it really just hold up to the modern day cars. Um, I forgot to mention, actually, the window tints. They weren't done by me, they were already on the car, so... I'm not sure if they were done professionally or... The previous owner did them DIY, but I think you can get this stuff off uh, eBay and do it yourself for very little money. And same with the uh, wind deflectors. Get a lot of bad reviews about these that they do cause no cause noise. Um, I suppose they do, but it doesn't bother me. I like the way they look. So I hope you like my video so far. I'm gonna end the video here and I wish everybody a happy new year and I hope to bring you more videos regarding this car and any upgrades that I carry out so thanks again and goodbye